Hi, I'm Ross from Playwild, and in this video, we're going to assemble the Playwild 10 foot climbing dome. Before you start, it's sometimes helpful to have another adult on hand to help hold things and make sure you have a nice, clear, flat, level surface to assemble the dome on. This video will follow the instructions that come with your climbing dome. If you've already started at assembly and need help with a specific step, check the description below as it has timestamps that are associated with each step in the instructions. Before you get started with your assembly, make sure you have all the pieces that are supposed to be in the packet. You should have 35 blue tubes, 30 red tubes and 16 hand holds. We've also included additional nuts and bolts just to save you the frustration if you happen to drop one in the grass and lose it. If you end up with pieces left over at the end of the assembly, that's why you haven't made a mistake. You've just got extra pieces we've provided for your convenience. For step one of the assembly process, take four blue tubes and two red tubes and lay them out in a star fashion like this. You also need to have a long bolt and a washer and a nut and the hex wrench and the Allen wrench. The first step is to put the washer onto the long bolt and then take tube number one as per the diagram and your instructions and place the bolt up through tube number one. And then in a counterclockwise fashion, stack all of the tubes onto the top of the bolt. This is tube number three now, tube four, tube five, and tube six. At this point, take the nut and tighten it all the way down onto the bolt. And then you can take the Allen wrench and the hex wrench and tighten the bolt and nut. Tighten the nut and the bolt fairly tight so that there's not any movement in the tubes and that the star holds its shape. This is going to make the whole assembly process a lot easier further down the track. Now repeat the process again so that you take four blue tubes, two red tubes and make four more stars exactly as we've made this one here. Step two of the process is to attach a blue tube onto the bottom of each of the five stars. To establish which is the bottom of the star, you need to find the bottom tube on the stack and the top tube on the stack, and these are tubes one and six. This is the bottom of the star here. For this part of the process, you also need two short bolts, four washers, and two nylon nuts. Take one short bolt and place the washer on it. Pass that through from the outside of the blue tube and through the blue tube number six of the star. Place the washer on the bolt and put the nylock nut onto the bolt here. At this point, the bolt and nut only needs to be finger tight as you will take these pieces later on during the assembly process. Now repeat the process with a washer on the short bolt, pass the bolt through the bottom tube and now through tube number one. Put the washer on the short bolt and now finger tighten the nylon nut onto the bolt. Repeat this process for all of the remaining four stars. For step three, you're going to take two of the stars that you've made with the bottom tubes on them and lay them side by side with the bottom tubes closest to yourself. For this step, you also need an extra red tube, a long bolt, a nut, and a washer. We're going to start this step by placing the washer on the long bolt and passing the bolt up through the red tube. And then continuing our theme of working, stacking the tubes on top of each other in a counterclockwise direction, 
we're going to take this tube on your right hand side, stack it on top of the bolt, and then take this tube and stack it again on top of the bolt. Place the nut on and make it finger tight. At this stage, also be careful not to place any weight on the stars as you're going to damage the tubes. Now we're going to stand the two pieces up. If you're on a very smooth surface, you may want to place a rope or artificial turf or carpet or something like that underneath the two bars to provide some sort of resistance so they can stand up. The stand up process goes like this. If you twist them in a little towards each other, they should stand up like this, unsupported. Now we're up to step four. For this step, you need two new red tubes, one long bolt, one washer, and one nut. You're going to take the long bolt, place the washer on it, and then pass it in through one of the new red tubes. You're then going to pass the bolt through the red tube on your right, stacking them again in a counterclockwise fashion. The next tube is the top one, then the one on your left, and lastly, the other new tube you brought with you. At this point, Place the nut onto the bolt and tighten it as far on as you can, making it finger tight. Now we're up to step five. For this step, you need one new glue tube. Now you're going to carefully take this bolt out of this join here. Take the nut and the washer off. Pass the bolt with the washer on it from the outside of this blue tube. Then carefully pass it through this bottom tube here. Take the red tube and then the blue tube. Put the washer on the bolt and then finger tighten the nut onto the join. like so. Now we're going to repeat the process on the other side of this bottom bar on the red star. Take the bolt out of this join here carefully. Make sure you still have a washer on the bolt. Pass it through your new blue tube from the outside. Then the bottom tube here. Then the red tube from the red star needs to go on. And lastly, the blue tube from the star here. Put the washer on the bolt and then finger tighten the nut onto the bolt like so. Now we're going to continue the process, repeating steps three through five with the remaining three stars. Work your way around in a circle making sure that you complete each step using exactly the same process and putting everything on in the same order. This will then complete the lower level of the piping grid. Once you've completed step five, it's really worthwhile making sure that all of the joints that hold the six tube stars and the red five tube stars are done up sufficiently tight so that the tubes actually stay in place. It'll make the next part of the assembly a lot easier. You may need to still adjust them a little bit and so there's still a little movement, but having them nice and tight so they hold their position will make life so much easier. We're now up to step six of the assembly process. You'll find it easiest if you move all of the tubes, hardware and tools that you require for the rest of the assembly into the inside of the die. Now we need to take the nut off the top of this join and lift this bar off. Take a blue bar, put it through the join and 
it's sometimes easy to hook it over the join that's adjacent to where you're working. Now take a red bar, place that on the bolt, and you'll notice again that we're working in a counterclockwise fashion, stacking the tubes on top of each other with the lowest one here being the red, and then the next one blue, blue, red. At this point, you may wish to rest this one on your shoulder. Take another blue one onto the top of the bolt. And again, if it makes it easier, rest it on the bolt right next to where you're working. And then take the last blue tube here and place it on the stag. Now you can put the nut onto the top of this bolt and finger tighten it. Now working towards your left from the joint that you've just completed, take the blue tube off the top that you had resting on the bolt and take the nut off the top of this bolt. At this point, paste have a blue tube ready to go on. And you need to take this blue tube off so you can place this one on the bolt. Again, hook it onto the bolt on your left to support it. Working in a counterclockwise direction again, the lowest tube in the stack being the red, then the blue, the blue. Now we need another red. Blue here on your right. And then finally, the last blue in the stack. Make sure there's enough thread on the bolt through the stack and then place the nut on top of the bolt. Only needs to be finger tight again at this stage. Once you've completed that joint, work your way around the rest of the dome using exactly the same process, stacking the tubes on the bolts in exactly the same order until you've got the top of the dome filled in. And now we're up to the last joint in the whole assembly. You're almost there, well done. Take the last long bolt you have with the washer on it, gather up the red tubes that are left free and pass the bolt up through the tube. And now again, working in a counterclockwise fashion, stack the remaining red tubes one on top of each other onto the bolt. And finally, place the nut onto the bolt. And that's all the joints completed in the whole climbing dough. At this point, take your Allen wrench and hex wrench and go around the entire dome, tightening up all the joints and making sure they're all secure. And now we're up to step nine, the final step. And that is to take these black plastic covers and put them onto the long bolts that make up all of the five and six tube stars or joins. So that's every join on the whole climbing dome with the exception of the lower ones at ground level. To do this, simply take the black plastic cover, slide it onto the bolt and if you rotate it around, you'll find that the little notch in the black plastic cover will sit nicely in between tubes one and tube six. So that's the bottom tube in the join and the top tube in the join. If it's a five tube join, it will be between tubes one and five. So with the hold set properly in between the tubes, this is tube one and tube six here, you'll see that the black plastic notch sits nicely in between here. Now take part D, which is the long nut for the holds, and put it through here so that it threads onto the top of the long bolt. 
At this point, be sure not to cross thread the nut onto the bolt, otherwise you'll cause damage and it'll make it very difficult to complete the assembly. Finger tighten it onto the bolt, and then finally using the hex wrench, give it a good tighten up. Now you can complete this step across all of the other joins on the whole climbing dome, and you're complete. When tightening the handholds, ensure you don't over tighten them to avoid damaging the plastic. Well done, you've now completed the assembly of the Play Wild Climbing Dome. If you have any questions or problems whilst assembling the dome, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and open a support ticket. We're only too happy to help. And check out all of our other great products at playwildusa.com.